Op de Philips Innovation Experience in het Evelon presenteerde het bedrijf de laatste innovaties. EDTV pikt daar een aantal uit, zoals de Applications of HiFu. Zonder opereren, tumoren verwijderen met behulp van ultrageluid. Will this new technique replace surgery? Well, that is very difficult to answer. However, we think that with this new technology of using sound waves to treat uh, non-invasively tumors, we have at least an alternative for some applications. And what, you, what the sound waves can do non-invasively, you can nicely see here, where we treat it with sound waves, basically the inner part with the, uh, within the tissue. And you see that the outside is left completely intact and still healthy, while we have a complete treatment area within. So if this is a benign disease, that's all what it takes. The patient can get up and get home. However, if this is a very aggressive type of cancer, then we have also to make sure that we treat the border zone with this technology correctly. And for that application, we can also combine this unique technology using high intensity focused ultrasound with a local type of chemotherapy that gets actually activated by the heat that we have uh, used in this uh, application. When will this be uh, in place? So this technology is already in the clinic. Um, so this is a system that is currently installed in hospitals that makes use of the heat treatment alone. So this system is, for example, used for the treatment of uterine fibroids and also for pain treatment in uh, bone metastases coming, for example, from prostate cancer. However, the application in combination with the local heat activated chemotherapy may take a little bit longer because it also depends on the availability of a corresponding dr heat activatable drug. And on which kind of cancers can you uh, work? Well, um, so currently the treatment of these bone metastases will be one of the first ones, but uh, for example cancers like prostate cancer, but later on also liver cancer, maybe breast cancer is a, certainly a suitable application, also pancreatic cancer. So we see many types of application areas. However, most likely it will always be a subgroup of patients within these applications that uh, benefit most from these type of new treatments. And why is that? Well, it strongly depends on the staging of the cancer. It also many times depends on the exact location of the cancer. So, for example, in liver cancer, you have patients where you can do perfectly surgery on or that have other treatment options. However, there are also patient groups where the cancer is attached to central crucial structures where surgery, for example, is very difficult. And for those ones, this might be an option which has to be studied in clinical tests.